Welcome to How to Build an Information Task with Core.ai's Bot Builder. This video walks through the process of building an information task, including connecting your API, adjusting settings, defining your bot response and report template, testing, and adjusting additional parameters. Hello and welcome back. In this video, we will build an information task. As we saw previously, an information task is something that you use to pull information from the system. Uh, so it's not very different from the action task we built last time. In the action task, we were able to get the details of one single post. When in an information task, we'll be able to get the details of multiple posts and also represent in a manner that's more suitable for a chat experience, right? So in a, uh, you don't want to put the entire details of multiple posts in the chat window. Instead, it would be a better experience to put it in a report or a tabular format or a card layout or in a different template that you can link from your chat conversation so that you, you, you can you open it outside of the chat window and use it to explore the details. We will use the same API as we did last time. So this API endpoint will return as a list of posts and we'll just try to pull all these posts and put it in a report template and that's what we would use a information task for. So to build the first information task, we'll again click on the new task, go to information task and give it a name. Since this is a list of all the posts, uh, let's call it show all posts. Okay, and we are going to use the same Rust API endpoint. A lot of these steps are exactly the way we did it in the, um, in the action task. I go to the API request, I don't, I'm not hitting any, using any authorization for this. So I select none. Now in the post, uh, in the, sorry, in the action task, we use the uh, post ID as a filtering criteria. Now in this case, we are not, at least for the first pass, we are not passing any parameters to limit the, uh, the post that's returned by the, by the API. We'll get everything and we'll show all of them, right? So no parameters, none of these things, and we'll just go create a request and add the API. So let's call this one all posts. The method is get again, and uh, go to the API and use the endpoint URL. Again, just like we did last time, use, use JSON here, save it. And now let's just test it out. And once it hits the API, it pulls in the sample response here, right? So we can see some sample response data here that's pulled by the API. Okay, so now we click save go to bot response and let's just put standard text. Now before we do that, now we know we, the API was able to get the uh, the list of posts from the, uh, the API pulled in the list of posts. So now let's define a template or uh, let's refine a, uh, define a report template, right? So the link title, so in the message that uh, that's, uh, that's my response and that's the bot's response, it will put in a link title and the title will hold the actual body of the, uh, I'm sorry, the title will be the, will be what is displayed to the user and it will be a link which when the user clicks on it will show you the actual report. So let's say, let's call this link title as all posts. The header is once you open that uh, the report, this is what you will see as a header in the report itself. Details, let's leave that optional and let's leave that empty and let's, fix, uh, let's pick a template. So here are some of these uh, typical layouts with uh, support. Let's go for a table uh, layout and now let's edit the template, right? So now this is just a table, basic grid where we can add all the columns that we want to display. And the columns. Uh, let's say the first column. So the, let's look at what are the keys available, right? So we have the user ID, ID, title, and body. If I go back to the API, that's exactly what we get back here, right? The user ID, the ID, the title, and the body. Let's display all four of them. So let's start with the ID first. 
so this is the column name uh, let's say all of these are going to be strings and I can you I can write in JavaScript code here to massage the uh, massage the values or concatenate it or split it in this case I'm not going to do anything fancy and just going to print the ID here okay done add another column this is the user ID and that's the user ID okay string again just going to do this for all the fields then add another column this is the title string print the title and finally let's print the body done okay so we have uh, we're printing all the data that we get back and let's also make the ID and the user ID sortable okay so that way we can order the data that we get back in the report there we go well, save right and so essentially we have built a report template and put all the data that we get here right now we still need to craft a response that we send back to the user in the message bubble itself and this will all be clear once we uh, once you see this in action. So the two variables that's available here uh, in um, for the report is the report link and the report title. Okay, so let's use the report title and let's make that a link, right? So the link is going to be the actual link to the report. I'm just using this to make sure I get the right markdown syntax and the link is also going to be dynamic so it's the report link okay so essentially what I'm doing is here I'm just creating a markdown code to uh, generate a link which will be displayed to the user in the message bubble within the chat window okay so here are your posts save this I finished the setup and now let's talk to the bot and see what happens. So you can see the name of the task is show all posts. So let's keep it simple and say show all posts. I'm going to say okay. Do you want to confirm this is what you want to do? Yes. And here are your posts, all the posts. I click on it and there you go. So now I see all the posts all the data that's pulled by the API right sorted by ID and by user ID exactly as it is in the UI in the API and now I can also sort this here right now this is lexically sorted because I put the type as string had I changed it to integer I would have got numeric sorting so I can just go back and make a couple more changes uh, can First of all, let me get rid of that annoying confirmation. Yes, keep the confirmation. I mean, typically you want this confirmation before you do something more destructive, like changing something or deleting something. When pulling just a report, you probably don't need it to be more to be uh, to get to get that that kind of confirmation. So I'll say the data type for this is number, so that we can get it sorted numerically. Let's try this again. Show all posts. Oh well, there you go. Now it's so sorted differently in this case now. Anyway, so that's how you build an information task.